Hi, I'm Ken Bianco Jr. and welcome to Train World TV. Today we have Soundtracks, a USA made company, and we got George representing them. Ken. Thank you very much for stopping by. Do appreciate it. Hey, thank you. Not a problem. And we're talking BL2s, SD70s, GP38s. These are a few of my favorite diesels and diesels. We're talking about sounds. I mean, DCC is taken to a new level. Tsunami sound, you guys are the best on the market. What's your secret? Well, I can't reveal that. <laughs> but what we do is we do try to incorporate as much of the sound of the, of the real locomotives that you're going to get right. if you were standing rails yard. Okay. Uh, we do work with the railroads to gain access to the equipment so that we can mic it up in several different locations to get a good mix of sound from the exhaust, the crankcase, traction motors, for example. And then we'll take that and use the latest software uh, and make sure to slice that up so we can get it put into the onboard decoders. Okay. Um, we do try to pack as many features in there, and I'm going to highlight a few of those for you if you'd like. Okay. Yeah, sure. So with our diesel decoders, we do have over 20 different prime movers that are available, including several from EMD several from Alco, several from Baldwin. Uh, we do also have some specialty decoders, including the UP Gas Turbine. Okay. We do have a okay, dual cool. EMD 567, good for the E-Series locomotives EMD produced. Uh, we do have a dual GEFDL for the U50. And we do have a really unique bird, pardon the pun, of the Galloping Goose. <laughs> there you go. um, so these are selectable. You can pick the decoder that fits the prototype, and then you'll pick the board format that matches. Just real quick, how do you get these sounds? I mean, do you go out to a yard and get them? Or yes, you, we you, work with okay. the railroads to gain access. For example, we've been to L.A., we've been to Arizona, we've been to, to New Jersey recording various different locomotives okay. to make sure we get the true prototypes. Good. And when we Good. put it on there, that's actually what you're getting is a recording of that particular prime mover uh, out in the real world. Good, that's important. So, also built into every decoder, we do have up to we do have 16 different air horns that are programmed into the decoder, okay. pre-programmed, so that no matter which one your customer picks, they're going to have the right air horn on there. Right. So, for example, here we're going to show this particular locomotive here, and you'll hear that we have a long and a short whistle blast or horn, and what that's to do is to really make sure that the whistle signals as they're commonly known, are really communicated. For example, everybody's familiar with the two longs, a short and a long of a grade crossing. And the horn button will play the horn as long as you hold the button down. And then if you decide you want a different uh, air horn on it, you just simply okay. change the CV. So we're going to program here CV115. We're going to change it to a different air horn. And now you have a different air horn playing. Right, right, right. Okay. So other things that we want to talk about is we want to talk about the Hyperlites. The Hyperlite is a harken back to our original product as a company called the Hyperlite, which was the first processor-driven module in model railroading. Uh, you could have any different lighting effect, Mars lights, gyro lights, rotary beacons, firebox flicker, any of that. Right. We have 15 different lighting effects. So to show you that, first of all, we're going to show the headlight. And we're also, also going to show you that it's dimmable so that when you pass that other cool. train, you can dim the headlight. <laughs> On this particular model, we also have the number boards illuminated, and then we also have the ditch lights come on. And we have a feature called crossing logic, which means that the lighting effect will take place when the horn button is pressed. So, for example, here we're going to use the alternating ditch lights. Wow, that is awesome. Very cool. Very nice. And that's available in all of our Tsunami decoders. Okay. Now, one other feature I'd like to talk about is our diesel engine sound. Uh, we do record all eight notches, all eight transitions up and down. But one of the things that's not necessarily commonly known is that when the railroads are using their dynamic brakes, downhill riding the brakes to make sure to keep the train under control, they're not running the diesel engine at notch at five or six or eight like they were when they were going up. And so we built that into the decoder so that you can adjust the prime mover based on both the prototype and the railroad practice to make sure that you properly simulate that. So for example here, we're going to show you this locomotive. I'm going to go crank it up, and I've got the dynamic brake to turn the prime mover to idle when okay. it's applied, All just right. to kind of show you that. So we're going to get going here, and then because we've got a limited amount of track, I'm going to hold it still. So you can kind of hear the prime mover cranking up a little bit. Now I'm going to turn on the dynamic brakes. Now you'll hear the locomotive ramping to idle. And then now you hear the fans come on. Gotcha. So then as soon as I turn them off, the fans will turn off. 
and it's going to notch back up to where it was. Gotcha. So Very this cool is going to be a more prototypical operation of your locomotive. Right. Now the last feature I wanted to talk about is specifically with the diesels is the F11 brake. Okay. We do have the F11 brake that will create a braking sound effect, but did you know it also will stop the locomotive without ever touching the throttle? Really? So okay. for example here, we're going to let this thing go. Prove it! <laughs> we're going to let this go. Now we're going to go ahead and turn on the brakes. So I'm just going to push the function 11 right here. You'll see that the locomotive has come to a stop. Very nice. And the throttle still shows that we're going at speed step 12. So I release the throttle, or release the brakes, I mean. Keeps on going. And then it'll go on. This is great for switching, spotting cars, things like that, right. or just running your locomotive. Okay. Because then you can even change direction, release the brakes, and it'll take off in the other direction. There you go. Beautiful. I thank you so much, George, for coming out here today. I mean, your decoders are taking it to a whole nother level. I mean, young guys and uh, age, people of all ages, mm -hmm. you know, whether young, uh, older, middle age, I mean, they want to get involved in this DCC. I mean, it started off with the standard DC, and now they're, they're changing the lights, they're changing mm -hmm. the sound, they're doing different features with the brake. I mean, this is true railroading. Yes, I mean, this absolutely. is awesome. So uh, I thank you so much for no showing problem. us a couple of things. No problem. And uh, again, you could shop online 24-7 at trainworld.com for all your Soundtracks products. Thank you.